This tarot card reading is for Cancer Zodiac sign and we're taking a look at what is the gossip for Cancer. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. So the two of swords, someone is saying you don't know. So what is the gossip? Who is saying this about Cancer? I hear grief. This could be a Pisces. This could be a mother. So what they're saying, you don't know something about yourself or maybe you don't know how to something or you don't know how to let go of something or you don't know how to stop doing something someone is saying that is the gossip this person is currently watching you as as well i hear deja vu or beijing or some of the i hear some of the the um the countries that's going on right now all right so who what is the current gossip on cancer angel spirits guys the knight of swords is a lot of people gossiping about you um let's see maybe for some of you actually no one <laughs> no one is talking about you i hear the high priest or the high priestess all right that is a spiritual person um this person name could start with a m2 this person is gossiping about you someone is saying you're like mary magdalene or something about your future or you're of the future some someone may be talking about you maybe um what you're what you're doing with your future maybe your education wise let's see yes for sure there's your love your past person gossiping about you possibly with your family members discussing your personal life what you're doing what you're into they're talking about what your next move is what's coming in like they're talking like they're concerned about you and there's this person talking as if he's interested in you he or she and is caring about you but they're just like trying to be nosy in your business i hear conspicuous because you've been really good at keeping your business to yourself okay i think you've been rising up yeah you rose okay i hear implementing strength you're not backing down because i feel yep yeah, wow that's the ten of swords the ten of swords that flipped oh you're not backing down because i do feel like you've been going through a spiritual fight and it has to do with your mind and your willpower when it comes to you dominating and finding what is trying to suppress you, distract you, take your energy, keep you sheep-like is the energy. You don't want that. You know why that is? Because there's a lot of money on the table. You could be um, thinking about putting on some weight or the opposite of it. Or you could actually be doing so. And there's someone that is um, having eyes on you and talking about you in a, you know, darlingish way. Okay. So what is the gossip on cancer angel spirits guides yes thanks beloved beautiful souls for liking the video sharing commenting subscribing at this point in time much love to you what is the gossip this person's name um uh this could be an older person a person you used to work with they're definitely watching you online trying to get information on you and they're trying to pretend as if they're not watching you online but they are somehow i'm feeling like people are trying to make you out to be like your issue but you're literally minding your, your own business you're not giving any trouble so but they're still trying to like say you are an issue or something and talking about you but when the, when we come to look at it you're only doing your own thing and minding your own business right the knight of swords but one of the main reasons why a particular person is gossiping about you is because they're trying to get your attention and they're not getting it. So they think, I hear backdoor and lying. So this person could be hiding something. And this person could be a Gemini or a Libra or a Capricorn or a Virgo or an Aries or a Taurus. All right. And this person may, may, may have a BR sound like Brox or br something like that. Um, so they may be talking about you. You may be a left-hander as well. Um, these could be family members, people you used to work with, the whole community. You may be like a different, a standoffish person, like I hear in your region. You may be like um, a, a great one, like Moses or one of those shepherdy kind of people. That's the different one in your standing, in your whole community, in your whole family. Your vision is different. I hear Excalibur. So I feel like you don't speak anything but truth and facts. And everybody knows that you're chosen and you're risen and you're blessed. And they've seen a powerful force within you. A demonstrated love in your vibration that they feel is so compelling and so real and regional it is too because it is spreading. 
it is it is what it is it is love it is the evidence of you that is the force that they were trying to fight against right they were trying to rebel against that energy within you by gossiping about you to others thinking that you are going to in turn give them your attention but they still are not hearing from you because you're still so focused upon the future and what is to come and what you're building. Also, you may have a block in your life, in your vision, but not necessarily. But if you do have it, God is clearing it up for you because God loves you so very much. So who's been gossiping about you? You're the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups. Okay, someone also wanted to like be more like you. Okay, and this could be a sibling energy. Right, the moon card. Who's gossiping about you? Your first card is the moon card. Is <laughs> it? It could be a Pisces. Someone could be a lemon. Are they big talking about you? They saying your name behind your back. They doing whisper. They think that you really don't know. Okay, they think that they're being really quiet and they're just taking it easy. All right, yeah. Look, look. That is the Hierophant card. They think that what they're doing, they're really skillful at it. They're doing it hush, hush and quietly. And they're whispering and going out in the night. But it's a, it is as if you are not sleeping. You can hear the little whispers and the little movements. Because you're clairvoyant and that is what they're afraid of. And they're, they're, they know get, um, they may know that you have certain gifts, abilities or inheritances. They're whispering about that. That is what the gossip is about. Um, something about your father. Maybe your father missing from your life. Something about a Capricorn. They may be saying um, behind your back that you're a fool. Or you, didn't, you missed a window of opportunity. Someone cheated. Maybe an ex. They may be gossiping that someone went out the door and left you. And, um, but, someone, but I'm getting now as a confirmation that someone is going to come back. So I'm getting but someone comes back. So there's an energy of someone wanting to come back to your life. They're going to show up at your door. Is that a confirmation? Yeah, um, the, someone may be planning to ask you, I hear, excuse me, ask you to marry them. That's the three of swords, the six of wands, and the devil card. I'm telling you, a karmic ex is looking to return in your life and steal you away from uh, like a brand new beginning. Oh my gosh, this is your brand new beginning, a four of wands. I hear church, they may be gossiping about you going to church or being a church leader with that hierophant and four of wands card. All right, they may be saying, um... They may be saying like if you if you were a server in church or something in church or talking about you being a good person or whatever or using up your good energies or to be of service or what you do for work, someone may have been saying you know I grew I grew her up up in church, and she was you know I raised her good I raised him good, but something about doing something back door or you like they talk about you like you're a mischief and. You've cheated life because you're not doing life appropriately like how they expected it to happen for you. So that's how they're talking about you behind your back. This could be a sister, a mother, yeah, for sure. The Queen of Diamonds and the Three of Cups Cancer. Alright, yeah, someone but there's someone that is trying to gossip about you because they get they're trying to get intel into your personal life, your home life, what you do daily, if you go to church, if you go to work, if you have children, if you're seeing someone. This could be someone in your neighboring community that's like they're not really on your vibration, it's the truth. They're just like like this. They're just this is what they do. They are kinda lonely and sad and feel left out in the cold. But they kind of like nosy about your personal life for some reason. They're just very interested. Um, but be mindful of this person because they may be trying to do something with the information I, I hear with the wire. The Eight of Swords. They, be, they were trying to plot something. I hear grief. But yeah, it, it, I feel like it did not transpire in the occasion that they thought it would. Maybe they were trying to invite you somewhere. This person that's gossiping about you. And um, but you may have said no, and no, they they feel like you are now offensive, offended to them. Yeah, the three of swords, but they could be an ex, or they wanted to be something, and um, not. But anyway, this yeah, yeah, the three of ones, who is gossiping about you at this point in time? Uh, yeah, father energy with that Capricorn card. It could be a father, a big brother. It could be a Leo. Um, it could be a Virgo energy. It could be someone you worked with, someone you spent time with. Look at that. I said a Virgo and the Hermit card flipped out. 
but this is not a Virgo no more I'm getting so this person is an ex because they're not in your life anymore you're the queen of swords I'm not playing they're not in your life this is a person you've heard from in a long time distant energy long cut off that's gossiping about you with their family with your family maybe with the with exes because they're i feel like police do a lot of people asking about you talking about you and trying to go back to this person now. like saying well now i saw so and so so how is so and so doing so i feel like they feel like they're having to talk about you because people just keep coming to them and asking them about you they're dreaming about you thinking about you they can't help but ask about you people calling this person and bringing up your name because i don't know why what's going on with you <laughs> right now cancer um all of a sudden so yeah look at you could be pregnant or you're expecting or someone is pregnant or something about something on the floor polish okay wow there's someone that's pregnant and someone is a baby daddy okay this could be a cousin of yours or someone is gossiping about a pregnancy or a baby daddy or the r word i'm getting um the place it keeps coming up and the accent of it is coming up as well um you may feel like you made a wrong decision in your finances someone is talking about daddy or this is a sugar daddy with the cheated card here all right this i hear flames and your ex i also feel like you probably had like i hear donor you probably had a, a person your sugar daddy energy sending catering to you in some way but like on a pedestal royally or bringing you home but some or that maybe they be gossiping that that is what is going on behind in your life <laughs> I, okay um this could be i hear you are but you're a capricorn you are a police look the chariot all right yeah i feel like someone that wanted to get information on you they may have even spoken to your face um they felt like turned away because you didn't give them your grace in some way shape or form you're the two of diamonds or your money or your time or your energy or your interest or your mess your access to you yeah, that person may be gossiping about you. All right, so the four ones, they may, they're gossiping about your in, your personal life, your exes, who, whatever. That's what's going on, Cancer. Yeah, the seven of swords on the bottom of the deck is them talking, watching, um, doing things, and then watching and spying to see how it affects you. But something is affecting them more at this point. At this point, though, I feel you're content, you're capable um, you do have a, an energy of a, a protective masculine energy around you that is standing by you for real. Like he's standing here as your emperor and you're his queen of pentacles. And he's, people are, I hear labor, people are saying that he don't got you, but he sure got you like that. And he's smooth and well dressed and he's a miracle and he's rich for true, all of these things. And he's not afraid of spending on you and putting in the wealthiest looking dresses and shoes and bags he's not afraid of dolling you up is the vibration yeah that's the energy um and this person i feel love around this connection too and i feel maybe jealousy and people looking at you gossiping about you that you're taking care of or your mind um and <laughs> but this person that's standing by you is not even saying anything but they're whispering, whispering things. But you 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 got you. You're okay. Um, people may be saying you made the wrong bad investments, wrong this, wrong that. But what you grow is the energy and grow. They don't know what's coming for you, but you know you probably but we'll see you in the next one, Cancer. Like, share and tell me how you like this video, comment and subscribe much love. Bye.